Tonight, in an 11 by 13 foot cell on Rikers Island, surrounded by suspected pushers and pimps, sits a man many thought would be the next president of France. A man with the job of keeping the global economy from collapse as the head of the International Monetary Fund. But there is nothing white collar about the charges. He's accused of violent sexual crimes on one of society's most vulnerable. And my co-anchor, Terry Moran, has the latest details. He is one of the most powerful men in the world, a titan of global banking, a jet setter with homes on three continents, a man many believed would be the next president of France. But this morning in room 130 of the Manhattan Criminal Court, he was just another defendant. We're calling in doctor 2011 NY 0 p 5773 Dominique Strauss-Kahn, Strauss 62 years old and unshaven after two nights in a New York jail, stood stone-faced as the prosecutor announced the grim charges against him. The defendant restrained a hotel employee inside of uh, his room. He sexually assaulted her and attempted to forcibly rape her. When he was unsuccessful, he forced her to perform oral sex on him. The employee, a 32-year-old immigrant mother working as a maid, has told police Strauss-Kahn emerged naked from the bathroom when she arrived to clean the suite, chased her, locked the door, and as the complaint against him puts it, engaged in oral sexual conduct and anal sexual conduct by forcible compulsion. The maid got away and immediately reported the incident to hotel authorities and the police. The alleged attack happened Saturday, here in a New York hotel suite that cost $3,000 a night. That kind of lavish lifestyle is just the way Dominique Strauss-Kahn rolled. He's someone impressive. He's this kind of guy, when you arrive in the room, who will sort of focus and magnetize all the attentions. Strauss-Kahn's decades of experience have brought him to the pinnacle of power in France and in international banking. He's a PhD economist, one of the leaders of the Socialist Party in France, and since 2007, the head of the International Monetary Fund, an enormously powerful global bank created by the United Nations to help run the world's financial system. When he talks, people listen. Yes, the recovery is here. And when we look at the figures, we see that at the global level, growth is coming back. But we all know that it's fragile and uneven. So to see him today in court with small-time drug dealers and other lowlifes, that was a shock. But there has always been talk about Dominique Strauss-Kahn as the French journalist Apolline de Malherbe, who's written about him for Washingtonian magazine, told us. In France, those kind of things are private. But of course, we know that Dominique Strauss-Kahn has been someone who loves women. He has always loved them. He's been married three times for 20 years to his current wife, American-born Anne Sinclair, who was a huge TV news star in France. She's got this majestic blue eyes, and it's such a couple. I mean, it's more than a couple. I would say it's a team. Love, of course, is one thing. Sexual violence is another. Four years ago on a TV talk show, a young French writer, Tristan Benon, said Strauss-Kahn attacked her in 2002. Benon never pressed charges. Her mother, fearing for her career, told her not to. In court today, the prosecutor said the powerful defendant was a flight risk and should be denied bail. He is a person of means, uh, sophistication. Um, by all appearances, he has the resources to evade capture and prosecution were he to be released. In fact, Strauss-Kahn was arrested on board a plane at JFK Airport about to take off for France. More evidence, prosecutors say, of guilt. But his lawyer, Benjamin Braffman, argued otherwise, forcefully. This theory that he ran out of the hotel and ran to the airport to run away is simply not true. I'd also indicate that he went to the airport on a flight that was booked long before this incident for a meeting in Germany. We have the itinerary which we can show to the court. In the end, however, the judge denied bail, at least for a few days. Police investigators have gathered forensic evidence from Strauss-Kahn, fingernail scrapings and the like, to try to prove a crime of violence took place. But his lawyer says it's all a mistake. We'll prove in our judgment that uh, Mr. Strauss-Kahn is uh, innocent of these charges. 
We think this case is very defensible, and his principal intention is to try and uh, clear his name and reestablish his good name. But tonight, Dominic Strauss-Kahn sits in an 11 by 13 foot jail cell at New York City's Rikers Island, a long way from a $3,000 hotel suite.